mode. Great. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for hopping on. Uh, we really appreciate it. We know you have busy schedules, so we're going to just hop in and uh, get started here shortly. Uh, my name is Julia Whipple, and I'm the director of marketing here at Blue Tide. Uh, I am going to be monitoring questions here on my laptop. So if anything pops up that you want us to dive into a little bit uh, further, let, let me know. Uh, all questions are anonymous, so uh, so feel free to ask, and if we'll try to tackle all the questions, and if not, we can follow up offline. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to Peter Braden, and we'll get started. Thank you, Julia. Um, we are excited to be talking about new things, and so as part of the webinar series that we've been working through, We've been trying to do more to connect with all of you crazy folks that we do awesome business with. I think we got people from Hawaii to the East Coast uh, on this call. So pretty fun call. Thank you for uh, coming in. Thanks for uh, d doing these webinars because we think we hope that it's good content for you guys. We these are things that interest us, and this is part of that series. So today uh, we are talking about a pretty interesting new part of our business that we are calling Res Fusion Boost. And uh, Braden is here with me. Um, Braden and I have been working together for a long time here at the tent, and <laughs> this is something new. So, Braden, talk just a little bit about kind of um, what you're seeing, uh, kind of globally on the uh, Res Fusion Boost, and how you got started, kind of working on this stuff. Sure, this is uh, pretty exciting for me because this is uh, one of the first presentations we've been able to do on a project that I've been involved with for the past, oh, say, four months. Um, and so uh, most of you, uh, if you haven't worked with me, you've probably worked with one of our products uh, called ResFusion. And so I was involved in the delivery of that over the past couple of years. And uh, we saw a great market opportunity going back to Q4 of last year. And so we've extended that ResFusion product family to include ResFusion Boost. And our, our first target for ResFusion Boost is to allow it to enable uh, you to distribute units to Airbnb. Um, it's been a really exciting, fun project. It's a, a little bit of a new direction for Bluetech in terms of uh, how we uh, develop and build a service. And it's been nice because we've had a really great collaborative relationship, not just with our own clients, who we've had uh, insight from in developing this, but also with Airbnb. And that relationship with Airbnb has been really helpful to ensure our success here. It's um, the, the, big, the bigger model here goes back to our, our directive from our, our partners to provide e-commerce solutions. And we see this kind of tying in, into this. Now, Airbnb is kind of a unique beast. It's happened fast. It, uh, it, it really has been a very urban-centric type, uh, type of community, I guess is how, community or tribe is how they would describe it. Um, and so how it's affecting vacation rental managers to me is, is a, quite interesting. And, and I say that in, uh, we're dealing with Airbnb and some municipal into some urban areas, and they're a little bit more cautious about that. I mean, you guys have all read about the goods and bads as far as, you know, uh, hey, these guys are jacking up rents or not taking away uh, it, all types of issues. Now, where most of our partners are, you guys are in areas that you're dying to rent uh, houses and condos on a short-term basis, and we have a whole business that's built on it. And so how we connect you to that marketplace, we see that's very important. And then number two, and probably what's most important to you and me, is that we do it in a way that you can win. Because if you're not winning, we're just handing the keys over to, we're handing the keys over. And so I think that that is why a bit of this, this exercise is going to be more of, that's why I wanted to be here. We want to talk about some philosophies around this stuff, what we're seeing. Our hope in the perfect world is that we take somebody from Airbnb that doesn't know that Big Bear Cool Cabins even exists and that you can go there to rent direct and actually save a boatload of money. Like, and you guys, you guys all see it when people ask you, what's my traveler fee for? And all of the, we see it too. The net rates are way better when we go direct. But these guys don't know you exist. <clears throat> So our hope is that they book through Airbnb, you pay a little bit of commission, and then become your guest forever. 
uh, that we educate them through a great brand experience, through the emotional experience that you guys have heard us talking about at different um, times throughout the traveler journey, and really developing tools to turn them into lifetime clients, or at least at the very least, what I would call a profitable client. And it's a it's a great time to get involved in that relationship. Um, I mean, as as you know, Airbnb, or as you may know, Airbnb is making a little bit of a shift in terms of uh, kind of their market placement and their yeah. relationship with professional vacation rental managers and their inventory in kind of more traditional resort areas. Um, they're making a big marketing push this year to aggressively pursue inventory as well as promote that inventory in those non-urban markets. And if we look at their, you know, their inventory today, and we look at the gaps that they have, and uh, it's in a lot of your markets, so much so that if we overlay uh, all of our clients' inventory on theirs, we get almost complete coverage. And so that's something that Airbnb has recognized. And then from your perspective, it's a chance to get your listings on a platform that uh, is going to rank very well, is going to receive significant traffic to the tune of you know 150-ish million people booking this year. Um, it's a lot of eyeballs. Uh, it's a great way to introduce uh, your brand and your inventory to an audience that may not find it otherwise. Um, there are 50% of the people booking on Airbnb are under 30 years old, and that's an audience that traditional vacation rental markets in a lot of cases have struggled to reach. And uh, so it's a chance for you as a vacation rental manager to introduce somebody who's familiar with Airbnb to your brand so that next year or the following years as their family grows and they're, they're taking more vacations, they can book direct with you and they know that they're aware of the quality of the service you offer and that when they book direct, it's gonna be less expensive and you may be able to turn somebody from an Airbnb tribe member to a member of your community. So that's our hope. So what, what we're hoping today, we're, we're gonna keep this to about 25 minutes unless there's any deep, deep questions. But we're gonna go through, so we're talking philosophically a little bit about this. I mean. You know, whether you're in Gulf Shores, Alabama, or you're out, out in uh, uh, Big Bear, California, you're all knowing about what's happening with Airbnb. So how can you utilize this to fill inventory and other things? So that's how we're looking at it. Let's talk just a little bit about our uh, uh, big fancy trip out to Airbnb and, and how our uh, partnership kind of where, where it is. Spend a couple minutes talking about your big trip out to Airbnb and that we luck, lucky you came home. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wasn't recruited. That I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, I, I think we can actually go back farther than that. Our initial discussions with Airbnb, I think, went back to ResFest. Uh, the previous year when we were rebuffed re re yeah. originally. Did yeah, and so we had, yeah. we had approached them as seeing maybe an opportunity and uh, they their response to us was, well, we don't have any resources and we don't have any people who are going to be able to help you out, but if you're able to build out a connection to our service without documentation and it works, let's talk. Um, and that was a, a pretty flat rejection, at least that was what they were hoping to convey. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, our engineering team uh, was able to meet that challenge and we came back to them a few months later with a working proof of concept. And so uh, at that point, their director of API integration and their global head of community uh, invited uh, Ned Lukes and myself out to San Francisco uh, to meet with their team. And it was, uh, it was pretty exciting, A, to, to see uh, their office and how they work but also to see the opportunity and to see how engaged they were and how seriously they were taking growth into the professionally managed space. Professionally managed space, that's the big yeah. one that they're starting to really kind of get their heads wrapped around. Yeah, it's a it's a big change for them. They're obviously, this is a company that grew out of, you know, literally sharing an air mattress on a floor and room share and, and hey, I'm gone for the weekend and renting out my primary home. Now to getting into professionally managed vacation rental inventory, but they see massive opportunity there. Um, they've got a whole team of engineers and market managers designed to enable that transition. So uh, we presented to their market managers. There's uh, about two dozen of them worldwide, uh, half in the U.S., and um, they're really engaged because it's their job to be bringing on your inventory. And so they're looking for partners who can make that as easy as possible. Um, and there's obviously a few of us in the space, but Blue Tent's position and Blue Tent's approach to getting your inventory to their platform is a little bit different and uh, it's resonated with a lot of our clients and it certainly resonated with the team right. at Airbnb. So yeah, let's maybe, let's let's talk about that the Boost grew out of ResFusion and, and we'll get into some spe specifics of that, but 
For about the last 10, eh, eight, 10 years, we've been battling API feeds to feed to Pete Scott's vacationrentals.com. And so we've been taking feeds from Property Plus and First Resort Software and Streamline and uh, V12 and, and trying to like transpose that into something that's viable. And that's been hard. <laughs> and uh, taking rate tables and photos and amenities and displaying them in a way that somebody like Julia would show up and actually hit buy now uh, is hard, as we all know. But we also know it's important. We know that's the most efficient, effective way for you to do business with people. So we've got about 17,500 units on ResFusion doing direct sales with book now buttons all right there with data issues, photo issues, you name it. When you guys have problems, who's the first one to know about it? We are. Uh, you call our support team, you yell, the, the, the photos aren't right, the, the rates aren't right, all that kind of fun stuff. So we're seeing this and saying we're going to do – we could do 250, maybe 300 million in direct sales through ResFusion this year. That's a pretty serious number. So we've kind of scaled up to be that e-commerce partner for you guys. And so now we're seeing that all that data is ready to be bought. There's other marketplaces than just Peter Scott's vacationrentals.com. And you guys know that. We, you, you and we spend a lot of money and time with email, trying to pull them in there, with paid search, with social marketing, trying to get them into my tribe. But we also know uh, that OTAs are not going away, that we've all been trained that if we want to go find a hotel in Denver, that it's not a bad idea to go to Expedia and see all what Marriott's, what all those guys are doing. But I also know, so, the, so the, we know that that's not going away. So there's other marketplaces out there. And so we see the opportunity um, to work with you guys to find marketplaces that you can find be profitable. So that's how we got to from ResFusion to Boost. Yeah, yeah it's um, you know we we looked at ResFusion and at, at its core, it's an e-commerce platform designed to drive revenue for vacation rental managers. And as Pete referenced, our experience in manipulating API-fed property data and turning that into online bookings, um, it's not a big stretch to go from that to sending it to Airbnb to do the same thing. And so it's a natural extension and a way to grow your revenue and grow your footprint online uh, so that you're not entirely dependent on any single OTA or your own website. And so you get this nice diversified uh, portfolio of lead sources um, that allow you to respond to market changes in the future and make sure your business is growing. And um, I, I think many of us, we, we've all seen it. And we're, we're going to actually, if you go to the next slide, please, because we are going to talk about speed to market. But those of you that invested in Google SEO uh, 10 years ago were cashing checks. Those of you that were investing in Google PPC 10 years ago, cashing checks. Those of you that were investing in VRBO, HomeAway, over the last five years, cashing checks. So, But there's been changes in those. It's been more competitive. Those things are getting more expensive to drive, to drive conversions. Uh, there's new competition. We're hoping that the tide's rising all of this stuff. Um, but speed to market's going to be pretty important. And um, Braden, talk a little bit about that. What, what, do you, what do you think of when you think of speed to market to, and, and why is that an important part of ResFusion Boost? Well, I think there's two pieces. Number one is when it's mid-October and Pete says we need a product live by January. Um, <laughs> that's some pretty significant speed to market, but that's our problem. Oh, God. Uh, okay, I got think, it. Uh, but I think the other half of it is, you know, I think the biggest pain point I hear from folks who are trying to get inventory on Airbnb, whether it's manually or via the other integration partners out there, is that it's a, in a lot of times, very painful process. It's taking a lot of time. There's not a lot of insight into where listings went, why they aren't showing, why it's taken this long. And going back to our experience with working with the HomeAway, Barefoot, VRM, RNS APIs, stream all of these different sources of data, uh, that body of knowledge lets us look at your data, understand where the gaps are going to be for what Airbnb needs, and get that resolved in a matter of a couple phone calls. Um, so if, if you are looking to get listings on Airbnb and you want to see them up sooner than later, um, even though this product is very young and we're going to continue to refine it and polish it, uh, we're looking at a two to three week process from the time you agree to work with us to when your listings are on Airbnb and when they're bookable. Um, and I don't know that there's another partner out there who's able to do that 
and still maintain the quality of listings that we're putting out there. Okay, so so that's speed to market on your side, guys. Now I will play the op the other side of this. That we think that that when you go look at your marketplace, go pull up VRBO and Homeaway and see how many listings they have there, and go to Airbnb and see how many listings they have there. And to Braden's point earlier, they're missing they're missing things to sell. So you guys speed to market. You have the ability to. Uh, th should work on pricing, you have the ability to kind of, and that, that's a bit more technical, but we're looking at Airbnb as ultimately a traveler, a traveling search engine, okay? So these are results that come based on uh, uh, searches for dates and location and price. And there's a, a big marketplace, little inventory, you guys get there first, you start to get more reviews, you start to understand that marketplace. You optimize for that marketplace. Um, we saw it this year about 14 months ago when the HomeAway uh, switched to Best Match from their uh, listing platform. Uh, those that did, those that relied specifically on the the, the uh, subscription, got hurt badly, mm -hmm. badly. Um, so speed to market, getting established here before your competitors, we think is a good idea. Get some reviews, uh, get, get, uh, uh, th their algorithms are going to spit out listings that get booked. Yep. Yeah. So, history on Airbnb is important. How long you've been on the platform yes. is a ranking factor for them. The number and, uh, positivity of the reviews you have is a ranking factor. Uh, there are a whole host of others. That was another interesting part of our trip to San Francisco was learning about that, uh, their ranking algorithm and how we can help our clients show up uh, at the top of search results. But to Pete's point, uh, relative to urban markets, there are very few listings on Airbnb in these big resort areas. And so if you are in a kind of a, a more traditional vacation rental market, as opposed to an urban market, and you're able to get on Airbnb sooner than later, you really are setting yourself up for a lot of long-term success on the platform because there's, even over the next 12 months, we're gonna see a big rush of people trying to get on that marketplace. Okay, so Merchant of Record, um, this one you guys will probably know more about than we will, <laughs> is that um, we want nothing to do with, uh, we're, we're basically we're the middleman for the data. Um, we're not your brand, your money, all of that is yours. Um, we can get more technical around that. Braden, any quick points on that that you want to make? Yeah, I mean, I, it, this was a tough decision for us. Uh, for those of you familiar with some of the other offerings in the market, they do exist out there where they represent your inventory as their own and they take the reservation and they act as like an outside agency. Uh, that was pretty problematic for us for a few reasons. And the reason we decided to focus on a middleware solution, on a technical solution that lets you represent your inventory and your brand on Airbnb was for a couple key reasons. Number one, uh, knowledge of the product and knowledge of the area. Um, as much as we work to understand you, your inventory, and your markets, nobody knows it better than you. So when those inquiries or bookings come in, uh, you're able to respond with a higher level of customer service than somebody in a phone bank would ever be able to. Uh, beyond that, there's um, certainly some good financial reasons for you to get your payouts directly from Airbnb. You don't have to worry about any third party uh, holding on to uh, your revenue and worried about payouts from them. Uh, you're going to get reliable ACH payments direct from Airbnb in advance of arrival, which is a nice change from some of the other um, options out there. Uh, and the biggest reason I feel is is that billboard effect, is getting your brand on a platform that sees 150 million people booking a year. Uh, even if you're not getting that booking, you're building brand recognition, you're showing up in search results in Google. And so uh, by being the merchant of record, you're representing yourself there and it's you're able to extend your brand on a platform you wouldn't otherwise be able to. Cool. Um, third reason, we're on your team, you guys, and um, we're, we're scaling up for this. So we've got a support team, we've got an engineering team, we've got a consulting team <clears throat> to really be part of this journey for you guys. And we're gonna be offering different levels of services related to this as, we, as, as we're seeing performance, uh, good or bad, making changes, being it, trying to be evolving, trying to be innovative as it relates to this stuff. But I know looking at the list of who's on here, many good close personal friends and, and uh, uh, also uh, partners in, in business. And I think many of you have chosen the Blue Tent team because you appreciate having 
uh, our group on, on, on the other end of the line. Um, not much more. This is a client webinar, so most of you guys know who, who what you get, and, and you've got some some of the love, some of the love deep in, in your belly for us, right, Lee Kramer? Um, so you know, sorry to give you a shout out, but but you know, got to. Um, any anything else as it relates to that? Uh, I would just put it out there that uh, the idea here is that you're not uh, on an island having to manage this on your own. Uh, anyone working with Rust Fusion Boost uh, has some support time included every month, so. Uh, if you do have listings that aren't showing up properly or aren't showing up at all, or you feel like could be optimized better, uh, you can pick up the phone and call us, and that's covered in, in our normal fee structure. Nice. So, yeah, let's move on. ResFusion is powering your listing, so let's talk about how the um, let's talk about how the uh, that process goes once once uh, somebody says I want to be on. Oh, do we have a question that you want to ask or? Uh, no. No. We, we don't. Okay. <laughs> but, but is uh, somebody Skyping and making fun of uh, is, is Lee Kramer? No, we just, oh, okay. we just got a thanks for the shout out. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, Lee. Nice. Lee. Hey, yeah. No, spring break. I know you guys are working hard down there, so stay sharp. Uh, so a lot of times we'll get the what's next. So we wanted to walk you through kind of our three-point plan for how do you get from Airbnb and Boost set up. And uh, we'll uh, take you to that slide. Yeah, I think a big question I see every time I'm talking about Boost is what happens when I sign the contract? How does this work? Um, and it's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, if you have a website with us already, you're familiar with the uh, process to share your property data with us. Uh, in Escapia, we're a checkbox that's already there. We're a quick request in uh, WebLink Plus. Uh, so you share your property data with us. Uh, we will then have an hour configuration call. We go through, we verify that your rates are looking correct, that we've got your taxes set up properly, that we've got your fees transmitting to Airbnb properly. Uh, we'll make sure your photo quality is up to Airbnb standards, and generally that you're set up for success. Uh, after that, we've got some programming to go do on our own, and we'll circle back in about a week and kind of review the final results with you, uh, select a, generally an initial selection of a few properties to send live, and we send those to your new Airbnb account, make sure they're looking accurately there. So far, we've had virtually no rejections. Uh, so we'll follow that up by pushing uh, all the inventory you're comfortable sending to Airbnb. Um, so in terms of your involvement, uh, if you've got good property data, if you've got high quality photos today, uh, this is a pretty painless process. We're talking about one or two phone calls uh, and signing off that stuff looks good. And after that, the platform takes care of almost everything else uh, along with your implementation coordinator. Um, we may come back and make some recommendations on reshooting photos for some of your properties for uh, making your descriptions fit the Airbnb model a little bit better. And that's something that we've been trained to do to help you guys out. Cool. So once we move there, so wanted to, to talk about the pricing. And really we've got two options for what the monthly looks like. And it's a one-time setup fee that includes the Airbnb integration and the data setup. And that's typically a two to six week process, depending on how how long and photos and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, any, anything else about this setup that what it, what do I get for that? What don't I get for that? Uh, I want to make sure everybody here is crystal clear on that. Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest things you're going to get for it, we get you added to the platform. So that's going back and forth with the software company to make sure your properties are coming through correctly. But the real value of that setup is the time you're spending with an implementation coordinator who's looking at how you've got your amenities set up, who's looking at your descriptions, who's taking your current contracts that only show up at checkout and turning those into house rules that are gonna show up on every property and making that, bridging that gap from how we normally position our properties on a professionally managed vacation rental website to Airbnb's format, which is quite different. Um, so we can provide you feedback on how to best set up your host profile to speak to that audience and help you out with um, yeah, recommendations on photos um, and generally get things set up for success. Uh, it's a fairly labor intensive process for us at the moment, um, but it ends up with extremely high quality listing scores, units that are gonna be more likely to rank well on there, uh, units that are uh, completely described and accurate, and uh, we can ensure that your availability is flowing through correctly so that when those inquiries and bookings come in, they're the quality that you expect, that those uh, guests have the right expectations and their bookings that are gonna help your business. Yep, got it. And then on a monthly basis, we've got two options for you. And we really look at this as a no risk option, which is a commission rate option, which costs you nothing on a monthly basis unless things actually book. 
And so that's 7%. So Blue Tent bills you 7% of the reservation minus taxes? Correct. Reservation minus taxes. Um, and you don't pay anything unless somebody books. The other side of it is, is you say, okay, uh, I'd rather lower that percentage and just pay $120 per year per listing or $10 per month um, per listing. So it's about 120 bucks a year to list on this plus 2% transaction fee. Um, so that's what Blue Tent would bill you for. Now, you would also get billed Airbnb and that's going to include, that includes the credit card processing. So I don't know, many of you guys do probably look at your income statements, I hope, on a monthly basis and look at how much you spend on credit card processing. Uh, for me, it's significant. In fact, let's talk ACH later, guys. Um, <laughs> but uh, so Airbnb runs a credit card and will charge you 3 to 5%. Yeah, so depending on the cancellation policy uh, you select when we send units, uh, that will affect when you get your payout from Airbnb and it'll affect their commission take. So for most of our clients, uh, they want to have uh, all revenue in hand prior to arrival. So they're looking at those 30 and 60 day cancellation policies, which uh, for which Airbnb is charging 5% of rent prior to payout. So you actually won't even receive a bill or an invoice from them, but when they pay you out via ACH, it's going to be less their fees. So uh, you'll get a report on that. You'll understand exactly how much you're paying, um, but they would pay you out three to 5% uh, off of uh, the rent value. So your fees and your taxes are not commissionable on Airbnb side. Cleaning fees or not? Cleaning fees are not. Whoa. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, just commission. So lower rent. your lower your uh, da daily rate, just jack your feet. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> yeah, there will be ways for us to, you know, we're, and we're working for ways to continue to put you in control. And uh, just a couple of things that we would offer uh, where we're starting to offer ways it's important for us that you guys own this channel okay so if you say hey i i make i only make 10 percent commissions I, this can't work for me how can you make it work for them um you know i think that's a case where uh we look hard at that uh pricing option number one um and if we are aggressive with performance and getting high quality properties on there or high quality listings on there um there is still margin to be had there but it is something that we want to weigh these outlets, uh, you know, on a client by client basis. Uh, there's certainly uh, clients of ours for whom Airbnb is not a fit. Um, and I think one other important point here is the long term vision for Boost does go beyond Airbnb. That's all we're talking about today. Uh, but certainly there's other OTA outlets we plan to expand to so that we are able to provide a way to connect to any third party uh, OTAs prices. that yeah. you can make money on. Right. The, yeah. other, the one other thing uh, to that point is um, back to what you were talking about, Britain, with you're the mer merchant of record. So if you are taking a little commission hit, um, then you have this amazing lead that you can then turn into uh, repeat guests on the road. And then another really important tool on that is that uh, there is no requirement for rate parity on Airbnb. And so uh, built into the Boost platform, You've got the ability to manipulate both your uh, rents and fees so that you can create margin that wouldn't otherwise be there. And that's really common for our clients who don't want to, um, who can't sacrifice profitability or margin on that. So if you're looking at a total platform commission cost of between Airbnb and Blue Tent of let's say 10%, we can very easily mark up uh, all of your rents and fees prior to sending to Airbnb by 10% so that that's covered when it comes back in. So you've got the tools to both apply premiums uh, as well as apply discounts uh, on all of your properties on an individual basis, globally, or maybe buy some feature. Um, so it's, there's a lot of control over that. And you can also select the properties that are displayed on Airbnb. So if you have properties that vary in um, commission structure, I mean, that's a great you way. Up, right? You don't have Absolutely. to put them up. And you can also use that as an owner acquisition tool that you... Um, have this integration with Airbnb, and that's more um, added value for your owners. Yeah, and a lot of owners out there maybe have put their own units on Airbnb, and they're doing that while you're working on the professional side. And to be able to take that uh, work off of them provides a lot of value, and again, I think does help with with acquisition. So we have a couple of questions okay. that are that are great. Um, 
uh, a, a few um, a few of our attendees already have properties on Airbnb. Um, so uh, one question was, will this create all new listings on Airbnb, losing the reviews and performance history that we have built over the last couple of years? So really good question. So yes, yeah, a couple of things to know. Uh, if you work with any API connected partner to Airbnb, uh, they will require a brand new Airbnb account. However, um, obviously when we talk about the, the length of time properties have been on there as well as the value of those reviews, uh, Airbnb is well aware of that and still wants to encourage folks to move over to the API fed side uh, because it helps them enable more instant bookings, which is better for everyone. So uh, on that note, their market manager team um, is available to migrate over your, if you have super host status, uh, they'll migrate that over to your new account as well as individual reviews for every single one of your properties. So Airbnb will actually handle that process for us. Perfect. Okay. And then we also had another, um, uh, uh, one, of, one of the um, attendees has negotiated some, some policies with Airbnb. So I assume that that could probably be brought over as well if... Yeah, I think we'd have to look at it on a policy by policy basis. Um, but if you have that agreement with Airbnb, I think we'd coordinate a quick call with the market manager and confirm that we can make that work with the um, uh, with the API driven side. Uh, I would love to hear more about that. Uh, maybe we can follow up with that person to understand where you found flexibility on Airbnb policies. <laughs> <Great. laughs> um, and then, uh, um, I think I think that's actually. Okay. Pretty much it. Um, if there are any other questions, um, let us know because we're we're yeah we're wrapping up. Um, so Elisa Holmes is our director of client solutions. Yay, Elisa. <laughs> She's likely on this right now, <laughs> um, and she is the best contact um, aside from your strategic account managers. If you're working with Sean, Laura. Bryn, um, you can certainly follow up with them, but Elisa is a great contact if you have any direct questions about Resfusion Boost um, or to get started. She's she's available and she's she's ready to ready to get going. Cool. Um, That's what we were hoping today. We just wanted to have you guys have been getting emails about this. We'll see a bunch of you guys at Eastern Burma here next week. Um, we're excited about this new marketplace. We think that it uh, offers a unique. Uh, a unique angle for you guys to, uh, to to get reservations where you might not have otherwise gotten them. So um, with that, we appreciate everybody uh, tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Great. Thank you all so Thanks. much. Thanks. Thank you. Take care.